Cal Myland. I talk about conflict and tension a lot because, as we all know, they're the gasoline in our story's engines. A few months ago, one of you asked the very astute question, what is the difference between conflict and tension? So today, let's take a sec to find some answers. I tend to use the two terms interchangeably, not so much because they're the same thing, because they're not, but because they're kissing cousins that fulfill similar functions within the story. Conflict indicates outright confrontation. Two people arguing, two armies fighting, or even something slightly less aggressive such as someone who desperately needs money losing their winning lotto ticket. Tension, on the other hand, is what I like to think of as the threat of conflict. You're going to have tension in a scene in which your characters are hunkered down in a bunker waiting for the next artillery bombardment. You don't have any conflict because nothing is actually happening to the characters. But you do have plenty of tension because characters and readers alike know something is about to happen. Think of conflict and tension as pistons, working in concert, pushing and pulling to provide contrast within the story. If you've got your conflict going gangbusters in every single scene, you're going to find yourself in the ironic position of having created a monotonous story. Tension allows us to dial down the excitement and the altercations without losing reader attention. In fact, some tension-heavy scenes can be even more gripping simply because readers know the conflict is coming and they can't do anything about it. So, bottom line. You need to have either conflict or tension in every scene, but recognize the difference so that you can balance and enhance the effect of each. Mm -hmm.